Let's have some fun. This beat is sick. I wanna take a ride on your disco stick. Hello bitches, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Billy Carney and I'm here to do my first love spell. Before last year, the past like four years I went to Salem and actually the first time I was there in 2017 I bought this love spell. If you guys are new to my channel I've been going through a journey. I mean I've been single for five almost six years maybe. I don't I think five years let's not push it that far regardless of the truth. Recently I tried like hitting on this guy and it flopped and it kind of put me in a space where it's like I think I'm ready for love and it is interesting that it's calling me now. It makes sense for me to do it now it feels very right. The night that I hit on this guy I was going to do it but it was like too late because you got to do it in the evening or morning time I was like I waited this long to let me do this shit right it worked out that it wasn't meant to be so hopefully it's meant to be now let's see it's Laurie Cabot who is one of like the main witches in Salem but it says on a Friday afternoon or evening light a candle in your bedroom and follow the enclosed love spell. Oh shit. I need a lighter. Some sage, incense, and a crystal. Light the candle in your bedroom. Put the heart and stone in front of you. Put a drop of love potion on each. Sprinkle the love herb all over. Put a drop of the love potion on your wrist, forehead, and the back of my neck. And say out loud. Mix and stir and blend it so. My lover's heart to grow and grow with love for me and great desire. The very thought will thrill like fire. So mote it be. Oh my fucking lord. God damn. This really better work. <laughs> I can tell this is my first love spell. It's my first spell. The love potion smells so good. Alrighty bitches, I did the best that I could. I hope I did it right. Please give this a thumbs up if you want Billy to fall in love and subscribe and hit the bell notifications to be notified on my love progress. Alrighty, after the love spell, you're not gonna believe this. The next day, I started talking to some guy on a dating app. I spent years swiping, swiping away, not connected with many people. With the strength I gained from hitting on the guy, it just really kind of lit a fire inside of me. Matched with this guy, and he messaged me first. You could message people first, but there's just something about that shit that I'm like, all right, like I see you and you have a brain. Rule number one on dating apps is to get off the app. So I'm like, all right, I'll just give him the number, but I texted him really late knowing he wouldn't respond to the next day because that was just too much at once for me. It's the next day and I start editing the love spell video. As I'm saying the love chant out loud, a ring as fire sets desire, I hear. He texts me. I think I did it again. Can you believe it? Me either. GTFO. Oh. I was pretending to drink this. Okay. Can you believe that? <sighs> Okay, wait, I'm watching Love Island. I'm currently heating up some of my buffalo chicken rice bowl that I made yesterday. Made it in a vlog before. I put it on my Instagram. <laughs> so dumb. Sadly, I didn't have any shredded cheddar cheese, 
so I had to put some blue cheese. So good. I know a lot of you guys probably don't like blue cheese, but... It's like a week later, darkness has fallen, the love spell, the joke's over, JK, LOL. Like obviously this was supposed to be just something light, silly, and fun. Who knew it was gonna get so real and then, and then be over before it's begun. So I just have to say that I have such a hard time connecting with people in my real life, in life, let alone someone that I'd be comfortable enough or interested in enough to actually meet them in person. I'm not like an easy bitch. I'm not into hookup culture, so when I, the loudest boat, when I, now the plane's coming, I'm trying so hard to do this video, but I'm just not in the mood and... I don't know why I feel the urge to push it, which is why I want to step away from my YouTube channel until like it just feels fun again or it feels like it's actually me like I just want this to be like the Billy Diaries honestly like I'm not going to try to fit in like a niche anymore or have a niche this is not good Alright guys, I finally feel, I guess, ready to talk about this. I'm watching Uncoupled. It starts off with Neil Patrick Harris surprising his boyfriend with a 50th birthday party. And right as he's <coughs> about to surprise him, he reveals that he's breaking up with him. And it's just like, hit me in the way that like, I'm only 28 years old, like I could have so many guys in my life from now until 50. I grew up with everyone together forever. I don't know, I guess I'm trying to be positive. I'm still young and stuff, obviously. I was just really excited about this one, enough with the love spell. I mean, like, I didn't expect it to actually work. <laughs> Did a love spell and summoned the man of my dreams, but I wasn't the man of his dreams, I guess. <laughs> the part that cringes me out about this entire video is like, I'm probably just like another random guy in this guy's a week like that he talked to. But for me, like I don't 
talk to people. So when I find someone that I would even consider leaving the house for, it's like, what? I don't get the tingle inside my dick often. Literally the next day finding someone that I would hang out with, very coincidental. You guys know me and my damn signs and it just so happens that he's gonna be working in Staten Island where I'm from when I'm going to be there too in like September. From the beginning, he told me that he was going away for work for a month. So I was like, all right, like he's going away yet he's texting me. This is the first time too that I've comfortably talked to a guy. Like I would always have my sister, my aunt be like, what should I say next? And that's because it always felt wrong from the start. I could always tell something's not right here. So yeah, we talked nonstop, bam, 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 would respond immediately. Thursday night, we didn't talk the entire day and he texted me at like 9 p.m. saying like, how was your day? And I was like, oh my gosh, he actually has to be interested then, right? Friday came along and I have yet to be the one to text him first. He said that he was going out with a friend that night. So I was like, oh, okay, anxiety over for the day. Let's hope for tomorrow. I had my damn date bag packed. I was like ready for this fucking shit. Then he didn't text me Saturday. Honestly though, from Friday, from that combo, I felt the switch. Like what I'm learning from this, the second you know or feel like something's off, it's so sucky, but like it's over. You just gotta accept it and move forward. We didn't talk on Saturday. Sunday came around, I was like really hoping he was gonna text me. I knew he was leaving like Monday or Tuesday. So I texted him Sunday, like after the weekend was done. I really went back and forth on whether I should or not because it's really as simple. If he is into you, he is going to text you. He literally responded within the seconds of texting him. It was very disengaged. He didn't ask me anything. And then I sent him a cute video of Simba kissing at me. He just wrote LMAO and I was like, wow, it's the end. <laughs> Whatever, stop it, Billy. From this point forward, I'm really going to stop opening up to you guys about the situations because I don't know, maybe I won't. I just feel like a freak, like if he was to see this. That's the thing, if he was meant for me and watch this, he would get the vibe or he wouldn't. So I'm just so like back and forth with what I wanna do, share and continue to do. On that note, this opened up a lot of insecurity for me. Not having my solid job in place and like telling him that. He knew the first day we were texting, I want to start a video editing that I haven't really worked since the pizzeria. I have this job as an exotic cat sitter who pays extremely well. He was like, didn't even skip a beat. And I was like, wow, he did like push me guys to be like, all right, I need to figure something out. And just like fucking three days later, I applied to something, did a phone interview, haven't started editing with her yet. I'm actually need to check my email, but okay. The takeaway, I guess, am growing and learning from these experiences. It was just, he really checked a lot of boxes and like it just bums me out that I guess I didn't check his boxes and like I get it. Maybe it's just not that deep. It probably isn't and that's what is like cringe about doing these videos but I really do like opening up to you guys and talking and like getting it out. <sighs> Cause I don't know guys, I was so excited about this one. His job, it just felt very how my parents are, like he's in the military, Coast Guard vibes, Not, the, but my parents were a cop and fireman. I knew like politically he got the vibe. That's also a hard thing to find. 6'3", he was cute. 
Also, with the growth and stuff from this shit, I have been pushing myself. I know like I shouldn't be putting all my eggs in a basket. I had multiple people on Hinge respond to me. That was another thing. He responded first, like I mentioned, actually. Da -da 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 -da. I did message people. I'm trying to keep it going, but after he totally disengaged from me, I just felt not good enough and internal about it. And I did respond to this guy or I texted this guy first. We had no conversation, but I was taking like long to answer. So I think he kind of just went in for the kill and was, what's your Instagram? And I was like, uh, not again. The portal to my YouTube channel my cringiness. Wish these guys could get to know me. That's another thing. I don't know if he judged me off my YouTube channel. I took the link out of my bio because I just wish they could meet me first and like see me for me because I am myself but this is so two-dimensional. There's a possibility that it really was just a sucky time. Like I mean I'm sure. Oh right so the guy, I gave him my Instagram, he followed me, I followed him back, and we haven't said anything to each other. I'm tapped out at this point, going from the hitting on the neighbor thing, this guy is thinking like these amazing coincidences are gonna be something. What is the actual point, universe? <laughs> okay, bitches, I wasn't going to insert this here, after I filmed this video, it got even darker. I saw that Love Spellman posted an Instagram story. I clicked on his profile and I saw that he was now being followed by the man that I followed after him. And I literally felt like I got staked in the heart and didn't die. How much does the universe just want to beat me down? I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, on to the last chapter. <sighs> okay, and for my last topic, which is kind of painful... Through this experience, I really need to start focusing on me. I think I'm kinda gonna step away from YouTube this month. I'm not saying like I'm not having fun anymore because, I mean, I'm really not, I guess. These are hard topics and like I'm doing it to myself. Someone did reach out to me. Probably gonna be spending more of my time on TikTok, focusing on myself, but like TikTok is just so much more instant and anytime like I post, I'm really like getting followers and I should have been doing this for years now. Met a new follower there and he was nice enough after I was live to reach out to me and say, hey, I was on your TikTok live earlier. Don't know if you remember, but I checked out your YouTube channel and I think it's really brave of you to share some of the deeper parts of your life with everyone. It sucks to hear about depression you face, but in reality, I feel like every gay man has definitely had a lot of moments like that. Just thought I'd message you and say you're top notch and don't get too down on yourself. If you ever need someone to talk to, hit me up. <sighs> and that just gave me chills. That's like my main purpose of doing this and just being like vulnerable and stuff is this goodbye it's goodbye for now going to new york in a couple of weeks maybe i'll vlog moving forward i'm not gonna be all right every sunday i'm posting a video i just truly want this channel to be the billy diaries my life like i don't want to niche down i like just want to do vlogs and i just want to do what i want to do what i'm best at is editing so i really want to shift my focus to focus on helping other people grow and like doing this channel for fun 
and maybe I will be rewarded more on here for that. It will be more quality over quantity. It took so much out of me to make this video. I just didn't want to face the truth of this guy and it like just truly like being nothing. If he texted me right now guys, I would be so fucking happy, but it's not, it's not looking good. We have each other on Instagram, maybe he'll kind of have me in the back of his mind and text me when the time is right, maybe we will meet in Staten Island, like what the fuck, like why not? Like, that's my thing, like, why not? <laughs> All right, bitches. I love you guys, I love this channel, I love what I do, but I really just need to take a step back and become a more confident person. So I will just feel more confident moving forward with human interactions and boys, men. All right guys, it's been real. It's Billy, bitch. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. And hopefully I will be back soon. I really need to try to focus on me. All right, love you guys. Thank you so much. I will see you when I see you. It's Billy, bitch. <sighs>